Let's smoke some salmon. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel with Shigai Eddie Wright. Today we will be doing a salmon smoke off. We will be taking some fresh salmon and some marinated salmon that I've had sitting in the refrigerator. I'm gonna throw it into the smoke hollow 44 vertical, get it smoked up real nice. Using some small items that I have here at the house, gonna put them together, put a rub down. I'm gonna throw them in the smoker and see what type of magic we can create today. So here, exhibit A, we have our, what used to be a jalapeno topped some type of debris because i don't like jalapenos for the record smoked salmon um it was pre-seasoned we scraped all of that off washed it off threw a little marinade together brown sugar orange juice a little bit of salt and pepper then we vacuum sealed it into this bag that's gonna be piece a piece b will be all fresh pieces of salmon from the local Kroger. We have a maple plank we've had here soaking in water directly from our favorite store, Grills in Mississippi. We're gonna season these up with a custom rub, put a little bit of olive oil on them, throw them on the plank, throw them in the smoker, and get them all smoked up. And lastly, we're gonna take the remaining pieces and put nothing on them but straight seasoning, a little bit of olive oil, and see how those come out. So, let's get to it. So today I'm gonna do a rub, which is gonna be something real small, nothing real amazing. Take a little bit of Bertoli olive oil, Take a little bit of Weber's honey garlic rub. And we're gonna take some Meat Church, the gospel, all purpose rub. We're gonna throw it in here, get it all blended together, and get it onto our fresh pieces of salmon. All right, let's get started with our salmon. During this process, we took the rub we made, we made sure we layered it onto the pieces of salmon lightly. Um, the olive oil didn't have any extra additives to it, so there was not any salt or anything heavy used, but we still wanted to make sure we were extra careful, spreading it generously to ensure we got complete coverage over the top of each filet, while also ensuring we left just enough rub to cover the other filet. After that was completed, we got the smoker rolled up to about 225 degrees, went out, placed our planks of salmon on, and let the waiting time begin. Low and slow is the motto. A few moments later. All right, sitting at about 2.30 in the smoker. Gonna open up here, take a look. Only one burner's on. Still got water in the pan, looking, looking pretty solid and our salmon is smoking. Let's see if we put a tip probe to it, see what we got. Yeah. 
getting there on quite a few of these pieces. I'm not there yet. Probably about 20 degrees off. So it's good. So we're gonna run them all about 145 and we'll pull. So let's keep the party going. Moments later. Here you have our finished product. Amazing golden brown cedar plank and maple plank smoked salmon over hickory and oak woods. I'm um, sorry I wasn't able to get a taste test in. I had to hurry up and get to my son's soccer game. But I want you guys to always remember it turns out great when you put your mind to it and you put it into practice. Thank you guys for tuning in. And always remember, you too can do amazing barbecue the right way. See you next time.